Yeah. Wait, Matt, I have a question for you. Uh-huh. What, what's your, the first impression of seniors? What do you mean? Seniors this year? Yeah. Competent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, are you recording this? Go. Friends. Okay, so the first time I remember seeing you at tryouts and you were doing like crazy, crazy turn flip things like you do now, but now it's normal. But then I was like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> and then oh, I remember um, one of my first practices, you were, I don't know if you had a drum pad, but you were like, there drumming and I was like, oh hey, are you in drum line? You're like, yeah. It's like, oh that's cool. Yeah. So I thought you were cool then and I think you're cool now. Brent, when I first met you, I was like, what is this big black guy with the big muscle doing that? Doing taiko in like in like an Asian thing. But over the year I got to know you more and you are a pretty cool person to hang out with. I like, I like how you don't judge people, and yeah, and then we're, we're gonna miss you a lot. Try to come down for a tryout. I'm gonna be expecting you to be there. Yeah. yeah. Well, when I first saw that Brent wanted to draw for Tycho, I thought, oh, that's kind of unexpected, because like, I thought he was like really cool and like too cool for Tycho or something. But then I saw that he was like this really goofy and fun-loving kind of guy. Okay, so first impressions of you, Brent. Um, so I remember doing tryouts. There's a part in the very beginning where after you get you all get your bocce, we have you all sit in a circle and just kind of play a rhythm for everyone. I was kind of wandering around because people were thinking of what to play. People were just kind of randomly tapping things out, and I was walking behind you, and all of a sudden you start playing all these flams and paradiddles and all this drumline stuff. And I saw that, and I'm like, yes, that's what we need. So I'm very, very glad you got in after that. Um, past tryouts, it, it's been nothing but, I've just been constantly impressed. Your, your drive to learn, you, you're making the most of your one year here, which, that makes me so sad that it's only one year. Okay, Brent, take one. Hi Brent, it's me, your pal, Tomi. Um, I guess, I'm super sad you're graduating and we're filming this now, so I guess I want to tell you like my first impression of you, which is kind of still the same one I have today. Um, but I remember trying out, you were in a different group, but I remember you because you were always like, if I saw you were on campus, you were the only person outside of my tryout group that would always like say hi to me, and you were always walking around with Anna because you were both in the same class. You were one of the few people that would always say hi to me, so I was like, oh, this guy's pretty cool, like, we could be friends. Um, and then I remember the day before they told us whether or not uh, we had made the team, uh, so we were both still in limbo, kind of. We were at a Jet Info session, and that was the first time I had really, like, sat down and talked with you. Uh, and we were getting along, and I thought you were super funny, and everything was really great, but then I was like, oh, but I can't be friends with him because I, like, knew you were going to make the team, but I wasn't sure about myself, and I was like, oh, that's so awkward if I'm friends with him, and then he makes the team, and then I hang out with him, and he's gonna like be with the whole Taiko team. And so I was really sad, because I was like, oh, like we could be awesome friends. Uh, so I remember after they had told us, and then we were all supposed to meet up the next like Sunday in front of the ATMs, I remember being really stoked that you had also made the team, because we got along so well earlier. Um, and I think my first impression is really, it was right, because we ended up being really close friends. Oh no, wait, oh god, I'm not getting emotional. I usually don't, okay. Um, uh, um, no! <laughs> uh, we ended up becoming really close friends and um, you're my best friend on the team. Uh, you understand me, you always listen really well, you let me talk a lot. Uh, you're also down to like party with me after practices. <laughs> um, and so I just wanted to thank you for always making practices really awesome. Like, I know even when we were always all really stressed out, like, you'd always be there, like, laughing with me in the corner um, and whatnot. So you really kind of uh, made Tycho for me this year. So, <laughs> anyways, um, so 
I'm really bummed you're leaving. I really wish you picked up CS as a second major so we could have all like hung out more next year. Um, but uh, congrats, I guess, on like one year in Taiko and being super rad and like you're such an awesome Taiko player and you're a really great friend. So yeah, that's it. I'm really glad I met you. Happy graduation! Woo! Hi Christian, baby. Uh, I remember our first practice we had. We were eating bunch of nom noms, and you were telling me about the buddy system. And then we started drawing our little name things from a hat. And then we ended up being buddies. That was so awesome. And then. Now, like you're graduating, and I'm so sad. And it was so much fun, like working with you in practice and with the messy kitchen thing for concert. And I wish, like, I knew you more, like, for longer. Um, thank you for being there for me all the time. All right, Christian buddy. Um, fun fact, you were my leader for my tryout E group and you scared the crap out of me. Uh, and then first practice at Mirror Room, we got our buddies and I was like, oh no. But two years later and I could not and would not have asked for a better buddy. Um, you're a very constant presence in my life. Like I can always count on Helen to be confused and for my bed to be comfortable and for Christian to be smiling and laughing and crazy about anime and I don't know, it's a weird thing to explain. Um, I remember first year when I was getting everybody's phone numbers and my phone and stuff, uh, I realized I had one too many Christians in my contact list so I kind of just put you as queer Christian but lo and behold that's kind of what you've become, like an older brother to me. So. Thanks for everything and we'll miss you. Okay, so Christian. First impressions of you, Christian. So we tried out together, and I explicitly remember you from tryouts. Mostly because you were terrifying. You had your freaking hat, and I, I can't remember if you wore the sunglasses or not, but I always remember you in the sunglasses. And you were the loudest person there. You would constantly be counting, even when we didn't really need to be counting. And this was a trend that only happened during our tryouts, as far as I could tell. But when we needed to count to eight, you would start yelling, each, knee, san, she, all that. And competitively, I had to do that too. <laughs> and that went on for five weeks. And our first year, yeah, you were still kind of that intimidating figure. Like, you were learning things way too fast, because I'm like, oh, I'll learn fast, and then you already knew half the stuff. And I'm not sure when things changed and things got better and less competitive, but they did! But that's not as fun to talk about. So, yeah. Thank you. Hi, Christian! So, I'm really sad that you're gonna be leaving after this year. I'm really grateful for the two years I was able to spend with you. I'm just really grateful for Taiko. Like, I always think, like, oh, like, what are the chances that, like, I was able to meet, like, the perfect person for me. So, like, I'm always just, like, thinking about, like, oh, because this thing happened and this thing happened that I was able to meet you and everything. So I'm really happy. And I don't know, it's gonna be really weird without you next year. Cause like from the very beginning you're always there with me. So like just even this week it was really hard like not being able to see you that much because we were so busy and everything. So I'm like worried for next year, but hopefully I'll be able to see you sometimes and everything. And uh, it'll just be really weird because you're basically like my best friend, so like like going to Taiko, like going there and not seeing you next time is gonna be pretty weird for me. But then <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully 
it'll be okay. I'm, I'm really proud of you. You're graduating and you're finally moving on into the real world. So, you're the mom's dad. I'm glad that you're finally moving past all of this and everything. Mm, and, I don't know, just in general, like, I've always looked up to you in Taiko also, just like as a Taiko player. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> uh, but basically, yeah, I'm just really proud of you. You're finished with all this now. So, I hope you'll be able to leave being, feeling happy about your time with us all and everything. Bye. <laughs>Hey Nick, uh, man, I just barely found out that you are Vietnamese. It was pretty late of me, but yeah. Uh, good job this year, running everything. Sorry for making you like doing invitation or in concerts, like making you mad or like stressed out about us. But but you did a really good job this year. Hopefully you can come back and see us more next year. And good luck in life. Uh, so my first impression of you was that you were super energetic and super friendly and that still holds true today. Um, I want to thank you so much for getting me my job. <laughs> um, I have really enjoyed working with you and getting to know you better because you're an awesome person. And hope you come back and visit us because you guys are awesome. Okay, bye. Nick. All right, so I remember, I don't know where we were going, but I was in this Nick's car last year, and then he gave me music control, so I was looking through his iPod, and I realized this guy and I have the exact same iTunes, like, and then I started realizing how much we have in common, like our love for Mean Girls, and Pokemon, and stop motion Barbie YouTube videos, um, and since then, we've, I've gotten to know you a lot better now that we both work at Goodies. Thank you for the job, by the way. Um, and it's been really fun getting to know you these past two years. I know I'm going to see you here next year, be it here or in the Bay. So for now, in the words of the most popular girl, girls in school, bye! Oh, hey. I forgot to wash my hands. So, Nicholas, I hear that you're graduating. I remember the first time I met you. You didn't show up to the buddy dinner thing. Not really dinner, but buddy choosing. So I wondered who this mysterious Nick Vu was. And I thought, hmm, maybe my buddy doesn't really care about me. But you know what? I was wrong. As I look back on it, I remember all those good things you've done for me. All the buddy packages, all the buddy dinners, the stack burgers, the stack pizzas, the stack macaroni and cheese, and all of our buddy dinners, and drink shots. So I would just like to say goodbye to Nick Boo, and I will miss you as my buddy and my administrative director. So Nick Vu, um, the first time I met him was at a tryout. Uh, he came up with me with a random guy and he's like, Hi, I'm Nick Vu, like, let's be friends! <laughs> um, which was great and um, I don't think that's really changed since then. Um, for the past few years, uh, he's become like, an amazing friend and I think everybody knows how generally like, a good person and how nice he is and how much he's done to the group. So yeah, Nick, we love you. Good job being admin and invitations coordinator. Hi, Elida. It is I. Um, so my first memory of you was not from tryouts. It was actually at Nick Vu's 21st birthday party, and I remember. Um, I love like little card games and board games and stuff, but for some reason I really, really wanted to play Rage Cage that night. That was just like what I was going for. 
and I remember you like popping out of nowhere and being like, I'm so down! Um, and so I was really excited that there was someone else that wanted to like go ham and like meet other new people and that was really exciting. Um, and you were super friendly that day, so I remember like just from the get-go, like really liking your attitude, really liking your personality, um, and everything about you. So that was my first impression of you, which is a really good first impression. Um, and then throughout the year, I think we became a lot closer um, since we both live in the village, I guess. So we had to like walk back together. I'm not really quite sure how it happened, um, but I'm really glad I met you. I like in Taiko practice how you're always really like real about everything. I super appreciate that so much. You don't even know. Um, and just your attitude about everything, you're super positive about everything, um, and you always make me laugh, which is super key. Um, I always think Taiko should be fun, and it is fun, but you've always made it even more super fun. Um, so I'm really glad I met you. Um, I think you're still going to be here next year, so we'll probably still hang out, so keep in touch. Um, but congrats on four years of... Four, oh my gosh, that's so intense. Congrats on four years of Tycho, um, and hopefully I'll just see you around. Yay, okay, I love you. Oh, and thanks for always going to Vallarta's with me. Hi, Alari. Well, I'm actually, I have to keep this really quick because I'm about to go perform at your concert. There you are. But anyway, hopefully that went well by the time you see this. And I just wanted to say it was really great having you as my buddy. Um, when I first met you and Krista in the mirror room, I thought, wow, we have the most diverse group of buddies. So that was really cool and immediately made me feel welcome. We could joke about anything and it was just great always having you to hang out with. And you taught me Fue and that was really cool. So yeah, I just want to say thank you so much and I hope you had a great time with Tycho and I'll miss you. Hey Larry, it sucks to see you go. Uh... You were probably my first friend in Asiage, and I really appreciate that you opened up to me, opened up to me during retreat, and it helped me to open up myself to Taiko. And that was a really valuable talk we had that pretty much changed my college experience for the better. So thanks, and good luck in the future. <laughs> Highlighted. Um. Okay, so. We're making special videos for the seniors, and I decided to make one for you. Um, I think, hmm, when I think back to when I first joined Taiko, uh, <laughs> I just remember that when I, like, when I first joined, and I was really nervous and like didn't really know anyone. Um, you were actually like one of the first people that I wanted to talk to because you were really, really funny. <laughs> um, and like, you still are, everything that you say is so funny and like I, I can never stop laughing. Um, so I hope you always keep that character with you. And um, I think another thing is just that you're always really fun to be around and you're always down to hang out and like party. And I feel like you're just a really personable person. Personable person. Um, and I feel like I can be my true self around you and I don't feel like I'm being judged or anything. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, Taiko wise, you're super good at Shime. Um, and also, I really look up to how, how you always uh, want to try new things. Uh, and you also learn things really fast and you pick up stuff really fast. So I also look up to that. Yeah, Hilary, you're awesome, and I'm really glad that I was in Taiko with you. Krista. Alright, so in the two years that I've known Krista, I don't think there's ever been a single conversation, be it face-to-face -face or Facebook chat or text message, where she didn't have me ruffling as the kids say these days. Um, she's always just so funny to be around and like her presence is just always so great. She brings a great presence to Asa and that's something I'm really going to miss about her next year and the year after. 
Um, but I think my favorite memory of Crystal would have to be during tryouts and when I just got in when I was a little noob in Argo. I would come down to Ravel uh, Plaza Cafe and we just have like these five minute long conversations at the cash register and it was one of the first like kind of interactions I had with an awesome member so thank you Krista for making me feel welcome and we'll miss you. Hi Krista! So my first impression of you is that you are really cool with your lip ring and the way you play taiko. Um, I really wanted to be friends with you but I didn't think we'd be friends because you were so cool and I was so uncool. <laughs> But we really got close this year, especially, um, and we turned out to be very similar. I remember at retreat, we wrote down the same two answers for two of the questions. And um, I've learned that you love, really like Big Bang, um, drinking, and guys, so we have very similar guy tastes. Um, and I've learned so much from you. Uh, I know this isn't the end because you'll be going to Korea and I'll be going to Japan, so we'll definitely hang out, go clubbing, um, go drinking some soju, and go pick up some Asian guys. So congratulations on graduating and your four years in Taiko, and thank you for giving me some of the best memories in Taiko. So it has been my pleasure to get to know you over the past year. Uh... And I'm going to miss all of our random coffee dates and running into you at the coffee cart and not seeing you at the study room at the coffee cart. Uh, but I'm sure you're going to have more than a phenomenal time in Korea. And I'm still freaking out about it for you. Um, <laughs> because I think it's super exciting. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to miss all of our study dates and you making fun of me and everything. So my first impression of Krista was probably not a very good one, and she knows this. Um, so first day at tryouts, I see Krista, and she doesn't talk to me, or she doesn't make eye contact, she doesn't smile, she just gives me my name tag, so I thought she was a bitch. Um, but you know, once you get to know her, she's like she's like a genuinely like, good person, um, she's really nice, and then she does things for you. Um, yeah, I love Krista, um, but once you get to know her even better, then you actually find out she's actually a really a bitch, and then she's really mean. But it's okay, because I still love Krista, and everybody does too. I love you, Krista! Hi, Krista. Okay, so... Uh, what am I supposed to say here? Well, okay, this year I feel like I got really close to you, actually, versus the other years. I feel like, I don't know, we really opened up to each other, so... Oh man, I'm so sad you're leaving. Okay, well, I guess about your playing, well obviously you're the most graceful of us all, and you're a beautiful dancer, I'm gonna miss that gracefulness, and your weird African dancing, and um, yeah. Chris, I love you, don't leave me, I actually just come to visit a lot. Hey Megan, when I first met you, well, I didn't really get to know you until I found out that you are my buddy because you were really busy running tryout and stuff like that. And then when I first met you, you were really quiet. But over the year, I talked to you more and I got to you and I got to know you more. And yeah, you turned out to be a really good person. Like I see you as my sister. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see, but yeah, you are really lucky to have Melvin by your side. He's he's a really funny person. I like him a lot. So good job. Uh, but um, anyways, good luck in life. Uh, I don't know what to say, but I hope that you succeed in life and. If anything happened, come back to Taiko and visit us. Because I know that you are going to be around. And, and we should try to hang out more. Yeah, because we haven't had our buddies hang out yet. So, definitely try to make that happen. Uh, yeah, we see it, but I love you. What's up, Maggie? It's your boy, Marty. Shout out to all the other seniors, mad respect. Um, 
Yeah, it's been a fun year. You've been a great leader, you know, not too harsh, but not too lenient, just the right amount. Uh, first impressions, um, I actually thought you you and Nick were a couple, so that was, that was interesting. Yeah. But uh, other than that, not too much. I thought, like, once I learned that everybody was a senior, or everybody that was a senior is a senior, I was like, okay, this is a cool group. Um, Oh yeah, in the beginning of the year it's kind of hard to see like a definite leader, but as the year progressed, it was it was clear that you were the leader. Definitely in concert invitational, so you uh, excelled above people's expectations, and I feel like you did a really great job for both those events. So uh, yeah, peace out. Hi Maggie. So um, I remember the first time that I kind of met you. It was when you were Skyping with Melvin and he was introducing me because um, he had just found out that I was his buddy. Well, okay, not just found out, but yeah. Anyways, um, and I remember thinking, um, what was I thinking? She's really pixelated because the internet connection kind of sucks. But um, once I got to know you from last year and this year, um, I realized how hardworking and how genuine you are as a person and I really admire that and I kind of aspire to be that. So yeah, just wanted to thank you for all your hard work because you've done a great job this year. So, yeah. Hi Maggie! Um, so I decided to make a video for you. <sighs> okay, where do I begin? Um, I think when I first joined Taiko, to be honest, um, I was kind of intimidated by you. <laughs> um, not because you were scary like the way like Albert scared everyone, but I think just because um, you gave off a very like mysterious vibe and I couldn't figure out what you actually thought of me. <laughs> um, but I realized this year, you being performance director, um, I think a lot more of your personality showed and I think I was able to get to know you better and I felt like I could like make fun of you and stuff and, <laughs> and it would be okay. Um, yeah, so I really appreciate that you were a performance director this year. Um, I definitely know for sure that you worked really, really hard and yeah, I look up to you a lot. Um, I think the biggest thing is that I look up to in you <laughs> is um, uh, how much work that you always had to do, but you didn't go around like flailing your arms and like sh like showing and telling everyone that you had like so much shit to do. I feel I feel like you kept it a lot like under your belt and then under your belt is that the right thing? Well, you kept it like under <laughs> under control. I feel like and. I don't know. I just, I just look up to you in that aspect a lot. Um, yeah, and I don't know what else to say. See, like, I'm not even talking to you right now, but already just like making this video for you is like making me super nervous. <laughs> um, okay, but that's it. So yeah, love you, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. So. Um, this year, I know that you've worked really hard, but I probably don't even know how hard you've worked. And honestly, I have a lot of uh, big shoes to fill next year. I don't know how I'm going to do as much like work that you did and how much commitment you put into this like team. Yikes. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really know how to show how grateful I am to have a model like you next year. And yeah, man, like, good luck with everything. I know that if you can handle this team, you'll, you're will you going to be able to handle a lot of other things in life. So don't be worried. I think you're going to be fine. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, to all the seniors, um, I know this year was really stressful and there were a lot of things, but I think you guys did a really good job of, you know, handling invitationals and concert and all that but still being good role models for us newbies. So thanks for that. And good luck after college. Just keep that asayake cool factor. Spread it to the world. <laughs> good luck. Hello. Uh, thank you for 
for helping me throughout the year as a newbie, like correct my forms. And I can't imagine like any other seniors like being here. So like thanks for a great year. And I'll miss you guys a lot. All my seniors out there, um, just got like one thing to say, you know, wherever you go, just take what you've learned in Taiko with you. Uh, I found that to be like a discipline and like a self motivation, a drive, passion for what you love. If you take that with you wherever you go, I feel that's the key to success. So just go out there and you know, show the world what you're made of. See ya. I love you guys all. I mean, what can we do this year without you guys? Like, how can like, how can we be able to do invitational and concerts in one quarter? I know it was it was really stressful, but you guys did really good. I had a lot of fun this year. Uh, as a newbie, I learned a lot. Thank you for teaching me all the songs. Uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sad when you guys are gone, but. Just come back and visit us, you know? And hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys would do Taiko outside of UCSD because you guys are really good Taiko players. And don't forget that you guys are Taiko players and always gonna be Taiko players. So don't give up on Taiko. Uh, but don't forget to invite me to your weddings. I'll be there and party hard, and drink a lot, and throwing up everywhere. Yeah, but good luck in life. I love you guys all. Hi, seniors. Um, I know you're all leaving us, and I'm really sad about it because I connected really well with a lot of you. Um, I really want to thank you all for kind of keeping our team together this year because I know it was super stressful with um, concert and invitationals and other kind of random stuff that would pop out of nowhere and happen um, and I think you all did a really great job of like keeping our team together all the vitality and the funness um, and everything about it I just I think we owe it all to the graduating seniors um, so we are gonna miss you please come back and say hi all the time I know some of you are going back to NorCal, but those of you in SoCal, no, even if you're in NorCal, you should fly down and say hi and surprise us at practice um, so we can freak out in the middle of learning songs and just ignore the song and run over to you and hug you. Uh, I like those moments. So please come back and visit. I'm really sad you're all leaving. Thank you for helping me learn Taiko. It's been a stressful year for me with like sequencing and all kinds of things, but all of you have been incredibly patient with me. Um, and I've always had a good attitude about everything and I appreciate that and I appreciate you and happy graduation. Goodbye. <laughs> you guys definitely changed my experience here at UCSD. Like without you guys, like I definitely wouldn't have as much fun as I did here. Like it really made my college years precious to me. And I just hope that you guys go out there after you graduate from Asayake and do really great things. And if you guys really need like support from us or like someone to talk to, you guys know that you can always come back to us because we got your back and everything. And you'll be really missed. Asayake Taiko will be really different without you guys. So come back and visit. As for the rest of the group, I would like to say something very special to you all. But please, come with me. I may not have known you all for four years, as some of you may have known each other, but I'm comfortable enough to tell you that I will miss you all. Very much. And you are like my extended family, seniors and graduates. So for making my college experience complete, halfway through my college experience, I would like to say thank you. Deposit here. Hi seniors! Um, just want to say that I'm gonna miss you a lot. 
very, very sad that you're leaving us. But I uh, hope you guys go on to do great things and come back and visit us because we will always love you. Bye. Good luck next year. Hi, seniors. I can't believe you will be gone soon. Just wanted to say thank you for being so inspirational, not only as Taiko players, but just as family members. And I want to say thank you for having me be part of Asayake, for teaching me so much. And I will miss all of you, and I love all of you, and wish you the best of luck with everything. Hey seniors, um, thank you so much for all the work that you put into not only this year, but in the group throughout your time in it. Um, and thank you for teaching me Taiko. <laughs> um, I don't know what I would do without you guys, as well as Rusty, but you guys especially. Um, yeah, thanks for putting up with my sass and all the nonsense <laughs> that goes with me, but I'm going to miss you guys very much. Um, please be sure to come back and visit, and yeah, congratulations on graduating. Hi seniors, I'm gonna miss hanging out with you guys like every week. I love you guys. Okay, so to you seniors, normally you guys make us that video where you give us advice and what you've learned over your years. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd turn this around and I'd, I'd give you some advice. So the one thing that's gonna be important, integral, to your success in life and everything you do from here on out is that you come back and visit us because we, we, we will miss you and we, we want you to come and see how we grow and see what great things we can do and what great things we were able to do because of you and um, yeah come back and visit <laughs> uh, hi seniors uh... Can you believe that you're gonna freaking graduate? Like, that's freaking crazy. I mean, I'm only a third year, but I'm already like, oh my god, I wanna leave college. But anyways, um, oh, wow, it's been crazy that you guys have been in Taiko so long. Um, I'm really thankful that I was able to be part of Taiko when you guys are still here. And I'm really grateful that I was able to get to know you guys. Um, you guys are a crazy bunch. <laughs> um, this year was definitely one of the most fun ones with you guys and with invitationals and everything. Um, but I know, well, I'm really sad that you guys are leaving, but I know that you guys are going to leave college with good memories, hopefully of me. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but I feel like you guys have learned a lot in college and you guys are going to go out and apply that in the real world. And I feel like you guys are all going to go really far. And so I hope we all keep in touch. And I hope 10 years from now when you guys are like making money and like making it rain that you guys like share some money. <laughs> um, just kidding. <laughs> but not really. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I love you guys a lot. And thanks for making me laugh so much this year. Um, and making Taiko really fun. Okay. Bye. <laughs> um, thank you for everything you've all done for this group. It wouldn't have been the same without you guys. Um, good luck with everything for the rest of your life. Come visit. You are still and always will be an awesome member to me. So, yay. <laughs>
Oh, did you record that already? Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Start from the bottom. Now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Nigga, started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Just do what you just did. Okay. Just really stoked. One black guy doing it, a taiko. And. <laughs> You've definitely led us to uh, higher than um, other. I don't know what I'm saying! <laughs> hey, Maggie. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> uh, hey, Maggie. Uh... <laughs> 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 no! That wasn't even Shout out to Beth, you know, white pride was... <laughs> hey seniors, so... Uh... Uh... Okay, I will... Uh, my first impression with Christian is that he was really blunt and scary and he didn't like... Oh, can I start over? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, should Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like taking so long to turn on. This person, you know, she really does stuff for you, and but and then oh, my, you like. <laughs> Wait, are you still recording? Not does stuff for you. She's just a very nice person, you know. Okay, you like it. Um, Wait, should I do like a? <laughs> Dancing